tonight. We are serving God a miracle. Check yourself, check yourself. The miracle is there. Come out. There is joy in the house. Now, can we start hearing the testimonies? If we are not ready here in the Alpha location, we go online because this is a global crusade. As it's happening here, it's happening all over the world. So, online, can we start with the testimony, please? Praise the Lord. From day one, we experienced the unique wonders of God's grace. On day two, we saw more of the great and marvelous works of God. And today, day three, signs and wonders. Join us now as we bring you striking testimonies from the online audience. From DCLM YouTube, Melody Emmanuel Otene is testifying. Oh, hallelujah, he redeemed me. 
I am born again to win by the grace of God. He sanctified me. Of his fullness have I received of him. I am a new creation, a brand new child. All things are passed away. Hallelujah. Amen. From DCLM YouTube channel, the undefeatable one, ANJK, had this to say. Since this morning, I was having strong pains on my right ear. After the prayer of the man of God, I feel no more pain. Pain has disappeared. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. From the DCLM YouTube, Hackman Adoma wrote, Amen. Thank God for the miracle. I was having swollen leg, but by the grace of God, I've been delivered. Hallelujah. Amen. Japheth Nuhu, also from DCLM YouTube, says, I want to thank God for healing my friend from severe headache. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is not tired of healing his children. As Ellen Pratt is testifying from DCLM YouTube, and he said, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. As Baba Kumui is praying, something left my body, and now I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. From Oluyole region or your state, Mr. Olufemi Olushegun, a visitor, wrote, I had been urinating blood over a period of time. The blood continued to drop even without urinating. It got so serious that he was abruptly sacked from his place of work due to the problem. According to him, he has spent a lot of money on drugs, but without respite. On the first day of the crusade at Worry, he branched, and after the prayers of the man of God, he went home, and that midnight, something happened. Somebody say, something happened. Something happened. He discovered that the blood flow had stopped, and since then, he has not been having a single drop of that. Praise God. Hallelujah. From the DCK YouTube, Christina Favor, I thank God for healing me tonight. As the pastor said, lay your hands on your head. I got my miracle. I've been struggling to study for my forthcoming master exam, but my head wasn't coordinating. Now I can assimilate. Hallelujah. We now return you back to the moderating overseer. wonders the Lord has done in the Alpha location. The first testifier, please. Praise the Lord. I am Dr. Barbefi Pangula Museum. Beside me is Brother Lucky Friday Zike. Please let's hear him as he testify what God has done in his life. Praise the Lord. My name is Brolovdi Friday Ezekiel. I want to appreciate this great God for what he has done in my life. I came here since from the beginning of the program. Before I came here, I couldn't walk. The vehicle that carried me, when he carried me down, I don't have strength to walk to my upstairs where they said we should be. He take the grace of God before I arrived here where I was. But due to the glory of God, I stayed the first day. I couldn't come out. The second day, that was when they have the minister conference, and I feel to be there as a minister. I said I have to be there. I went in. After the ministration, I said today, I can never go without my blessing, because I came here with an expectation that my expectation can never be cut off that I won't remain like this. To the glory of God, after the 
the, pa the, the pastor conference. The man of God prayed and preached everything. And now pray with us. In the process of going, he entered the, uh, the, the islander that was with him, up to five. So all of us were sitting, waiting for him to go. So the ve first vehicle started moving. A thought came in me. Say, so why can't you grab the master trapper that you have a healing? I stand up. I kept my back on the seat. I managed to walk down to where they blocked. The security men were there so harmful. They used stick to block. But I stand on the between of the rope and waiting. The first car passed. The second one passed till the last one which he is. I touched the mirror. The man put his stick. I say, you can't stop me for my miracle. That I must touch to receive my healing. That if I can touch the master's wrapper, that I will be saved. In the process, as he want to pass, I touch the handle. I say, you can't stop me already. I've received my healing. Brethren, that is how I started being strong. From that moment, from that administration, a minister conference, I have strength to walk down. I have strength to walk down. Even my shoes were caught. Because of the what the flood, I went out and I, 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 I saw it need and I was strengthened from now as I'm talking to you because I was dangling. It see if it's a breeze that walk. But today, I want to tell you that God have used his power and his servant of what G.S. Kumoye have healed me. Because the Bible says it's a container of blessing. I want to tell you that he can do all things through the grace of God. Thank God for healing me. And also, God can pass any medium and heal you. God bless you. Can you walk, let's see? I can walk, 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 walk. See the man they carry to this place? See him walking. Jam your hand together for Jesus. Yes. Doctor, tell us what happened, please. Yes, our brother had severe malaria with prostration. From the history and investigations that he had, he presented to us, that was the sickness he had before he came for the program. But by the message of God and his healing power, he was delivered, he was healed, and God has delivered him till he will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Brother God, enjoy your miracle. Put your hand together for Jesus. Another testifier, please. Here is Brother Ekulu Christopher Jonah. Sorry for the mix-up. He is brother Alex Fidelis. He's here to give his testimonies. Let's see. Praise the Lord. Brother, praise the Lord. My name is Alan Fidelis in Kemuka. By the grace of God, I want to thank God what God has done for me. Coincidentally, this place was the place I gave my life to Christ in 1998, 26 years ago. When I came to Deeper Life, the first retreat was in this place. And that is why I decided tonight, I've been connecting with Ambassador State. I said, I must come here to give this testimony tonight. And I'm standing here to testify what God has done for me. I have three testimonies. The first one is what God did for me. Before 2008, I didn't know that I have eye problem. That's when I knew that ignorance is a very big problem. Until final year when I was in school, one of our lecturers was teaching us special education. And he said that uh, if you cannot see the board from where you are seated, that you are blind. Ah, and I knew I don't see the board. I just learned, but I didn't know it was a problem until that time, 2008, final year in school. And that dawned on me that I can't see the board. That means I'm blind. So I came to a hospital here, a private hospital in, Bar in Ahoda, because that time I, I'm, 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 I was in Ahoda, I was in Omok. I was the old Ahoda region before they went to Omok. I was staying in Omok. So I came from Omok to Ahoda here, one of the private hospital. And the man tested and said it was cataracts. And the man gave me a glass, that time, 20,000 naira. You can see the, that time. And I was using the glasses. That one got expired. I've been using glasses since then. But the, the first time I came with glasses to my region then, they were thinking I'm doing guy. 
You know, they were looking at me, this brother, I started wearing glasses. But since then, I've been wearing glasses. This is the last two glasses. And uh, I received my miracle in two fashion. Just like the man in the Bible was touched first and second touch. The first touch was doing GCK. This miracle has happened more than a year now. I was waiting for, uh, thinking that Jesus would come back to Bayasa so that I wanted to give it life. They have given it locally. So I discovered that all the symptoms in my eye, the pains, the not seeing the light and having tears have disappeared after that global crusade. But I was still using glasses to see GS even close to the television in my districts until I titled it Double Miracle One GCK. I call it GCM. One of the global uh, group crusade with Pastor McLaurin. That's how I tackled it. That was when God perfected it. I received a torch that made me, I can't use glasses more than one year now. For my students confirm me, I cannot teach because I'm an educator working in the High School by Assa State. And I cannot teach without glasses because I like, ICT school to teach with my uh, projector and all that. But for more than one year now, I teach normally. I, but I kept these glasses to come tonight to break it here because I don't need it again. More than one year, I'm not using it again. The second doctor that they said, Kodata was afraid that it's cataract. The second doctor now confirmed that it's not cataract, whether it was glaucoma or myopia and all that. So here I'm standing tonight that God has healed me perfectly. I, I was there, I can see Jesus on the screen, which I can never saw it before. Just close to the board at the lecturer at that time told me that was how it was. I can't see uh, uh, the color of people before now. I can't see that that person wearing uh, yellow, that uh, usher there. I can't see that that woman passing now is having a white cap, but I can see everything clearly now. And I want to tell you that God has done it so the glasses will be broken. I don't need it anymore. It's totally broken, though it's costly. Lastly, I want to thank God during Barca Crusade. My other brother that made me to come to the life. He bastarded 20 years, 20 years, but during Barca Cruz, I invited him, and he's now fully back to the Lord, serving God. I said, Walker, I bring this crusade. As I called him coming, he said, he was, He's here tonight. He's serving the Lord now. He's back to the Lord after 20 years of backsliding. That I was the only one serving God in my family, but today he has joined me. One of my brothers is a pastor now. I want to thank God because my coming here in 1998 have made me happy, and since 1980 now, the Lord has blessed me. And today, the Lord is confirming the miracle. I am free from cataract, according to the doctor. I am free from glaucoma, according to the second doctor. I am free from myopia, according to my biological understanding. The glasses are not gone, though costly, but they are done made it again. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Put your hand together for Jesus! <laughs> doctor, please, can you explain? Yes. Our brother has been suffering from cataract, glaucoma, and myopia. And God has miraculously delivered him since last year. And up from last year till now, he has been reading and using his eyes without glasses. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord will deliver him, will deliver you. Everybody shall deliver. <laughs> Let's testify, please. The Lord. Be beside me is Brother Ekulu Christopher Jonah. Please let's hear him as he testifies the goodness of God in his life. Brother, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is good, even up to now. I want to give thanks and testify to the glory of God. 
for what God has done tonight, tonight, tonight. My testimony is just very simple, very, not very short. On the 24th, I was operated with cataract in my eye, which I have been suffering for over 10 years. So they cannot read. I cannot do otherwise. I cannot see color. I cannot see anything white or black. But after the operation, on 24th of this month, in fact, right from that day to today, I could not see anything. Now my son took me down to this place. As Baba was about to minister healing upon everyone here, he said, we should, should lay our hands to wherever is disturbing us. I crossed my eye, my hand on my eyes. After the, pray, the end of the prayer, I removed my eyes. I can now see the television, see the colors, see people moving up and down everywhere. I can now read, see everything clearly. So God has healed me. That same God that healed me should also do it for you. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Doctor. Yes, our brother has been suffering from cataract and blindness. But just this night, right on this ground, the Lord touched him, and now he can see. Praise the Lord. Okay, okay. test him and let us see what has happened. What is the color of this? What is the color of this microphone? This yes. other one? Yes. This is uh, brown and uh, yellow. Yeah, what of this one? Yellow. Yellow. Thank you. Put your hands together for Jesus. Everybody say tonight. 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 You will be the next to share your testimony. The next testifier, please. The next testifier is Brother Ewo, rich man. Let's hear his testimony. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Ewo, rich man. I'm from Ahoda East. My village is Okporo. So I'm here to testify. For over seven years, I'm suffering stomach problem. In the night, I used to vomit in the night. So when I vomit, all over my body, I will, be, I will feel pain. I will not have strength. Even to move from here to this umbrella, I cannot move. But when I came here on Thursday, today is making, making if you come from Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it, today is making up to three days when I attended this occasion. I went to the general hospital to meet a doctor. The doctor told me that there's no chance. So I even wanted to get angry, but I still have the belief that I will come to, I will come this crusade. I believe that God will do miracle in my life. So when the, when the problem come, I will used to vomit. I used to pour a spit. So when the man of God prayed yesterday and today, I discovered that the problem have gone. God have already healed me. So I'm here to testify the, the goodness of God, that God is miracle in my life and in my family. I know that the problem is over. I'm here to praise God. Child, praise the Lord. The problem is over. Yeah. Everybody say over. Okay, brother, you say you were not able to walk before. Can you walk? Can you jump? What can you do now to show us your strength? Come and see. Come and see. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Doctor, tell us what happened to him. Our brother has been suffering from chronic abdominal pain known as acute abdomen. And this night, God has delivered him. He is now free. Praise the Lord. Brother, God, God, enjoy your miracle.
next testifier, please. Beside me is Brother Eze Friday. He has a wondrous, wonderful testimony to give to the glory of God tonight. Let's hear him. Church, praise thy Lord. Hallelujah. Praise thy living God. Hallelujah. My name is Eze Friday from Oyakama, Ahoda West. So I'm now to testify what God has done for me. So I'm now suffering for stomach um, uh, stroke from uh, 2022 to today. So these strokes suffer me well, and I'm suffered way well. So one of my sister. She now invite me that they have a program at Ahoda East. So I should try to come the, the crusade. So I say, okay, no problem. I will try. So from there, last, uh, that is uh, uh, Thursday. Thursday, went to the program. I finished for that day. Then yesterday, I couldn't meet up to come. So today, after the man of God, I prayed. After the man of God, I prayed. See myself, I joined the prayer. After the man of God, I prayed. Pray, 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 pray before I know I get my healing. I get my healing. The suffer, I suffer for many years. I don't suffer again. Because that time, without the stick, I couldn't walk. But now I can walk without okay, walk. Let's see you walk, walk, walk. walk. Done for me. Walk, walk, Those walk. Walk. Move, move. walk. Let's see you walk. Can you jam your hand together for Jesus? The man is not only walking; he's dancing. Praise the Lord. Okay, doctor, over to you. Yes, our brother had a stroke since 2022 and could not walk without an aid. But just this night, after the prayer of the man of God, the Lord touched him, and now he can walk without assistance. Brethren, praise the Lord. Amen. Something Amen. happened this night. Everybody say tonight. We will hear your testimony. Let's go online and hear some testimonies from online. Online, over to you. God is still in the business of healing and transforming lives, even in this GCK. From DCLM YouTube, Saro, Saro Bakpo Dumali is testifying of healing from weakness just after the message of the man of God. And he says, I am strong to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Also from this CLM YouTube, Prosper is rejoicing. And he said, I thank God for healing me from pains that was in the forehead, eyes and nose yesterday. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. We now take you to Edo State for a testimony. Amen. My names are Pastor Dele Ayurene. About uh, three, four weeks ago, I've got a severe pain all over my two legs. It was it was wake and see. I've never seen such a thing before. So that Thursday now, in the night of Wednesday, I could not sleep. With that pain, I shattered the daybreak. My sister told me that uh, there is a program here starting from that Thursday. So they rushed me down that early morning Thursday here. 
So I've been here ever since, praying over this leg. Still, there's no answer. So when the man of God was declaring just now, he said we should lay our hand that we was praying us. Then I laid my hand like this. The other hand was raised up. Then we were specially other groups of diseases, uh, attack and all these things. Then when he measured the one of uh, arthritis, I said, yes, this for me, this for me, this for me. Really, this leg was pinning me that instantly. I was surprised. I said, also this for me, this for me, this for me. Till now, I don't know what happened. Till now, I'm surprised. I don't know. Oh my God. That is wrong. Praise the Lord. Serving the living God. Amen. So, I have been suffering from diabetes and arthritis. I've been suffering that I don't know how to express my life. Cough. So, this evening, after the man of God has prayed for us, when he said, uh, you, you know that you are you are saved, but uh, you are like you are coming down. Indeed, my spirit just carry me up. I stand up for the prayer. So after the prayer, my if I don't just know my neck when I did it like this, it was broken, breaking. Every part of my body was making noise. My foot, my knee. Oh, 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 oh. Before we return to the moderating overseer, let's have this testimony from the DCLM YouTube, Naomi Samuel. Praise God, the pain on my left shoulder since five years now has gone after the prayers of the man of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Indeed, this is a harvest of shoulder pains. Wananda Faith gives her testimony and she says that she has been having pains in her shoulders for one year and six months this defied medical interventions but after the man of god prayed she is healed we now return you to the moderating overseer Next testifier, please. The next testifier is Sister Henry Fortune. She's here to testify God's goodness in her life. Let's hear her. My name is Fortuna Henry. I want to thank God for saving me from the hands of human traffickers last month. On the first day of GCK last month, that was on a Thursday, I left the house. When I left the house, I was picked up by a human trafficker. He called the woman, the main woman that is into the business and told her that you have seen someone, all those kind of stuff. So she said she was going to come pick me in Porta Court here. I stayed under his um, care for like two nights and then the woman came, she took me to Abia State, Waza, that's the name of the village. So when she picked me up, when I got to that Waza, I noticed that, no, this is not a good place. I noticed the um, I noticed how the area was, and I found out that that was the business that she was doing. She used girls for prostitution, and then they give her the money. At the end, they pay her, whatever. Then I went to tell her, I don't know where the boldness came from, but I went to tell her that I will not be able to do that business, that I won't do it. And she was like, when I stay, only me will join, that nobody, nobody will tell me that that's how they make money here. So I was praying. Of course, my mom, when they woke up and found out what that have left the house and all of that, they prayed and they told the pastors and the ministers about me. So they prayed and they put me in their prayers. Then my mom said, my mom said, when I got home, my mom told me that, she said that she told God that before the end of the GCK, at least God should just bring me back home. 
God should bring me back home before the end of the GCK. And then Pastor quoted one Bible verse saying that God supply all our needs according to his riches in glory. And he said that our needs are, might not just be material things. It might be our children. My mom said she kid into it. And then she held on to it. I, I stayed there like two nights with the woman in Dahabia State, Owaza. I stayed there like two nights. The woman was restless. Only I came, she asked me for my number, my family member's number. I gave her my aunt's number. She called them and directed them to come and pick me without me even knowing. She didn't even tell me that she was returning me. But when they came, when they came, my, she, said, um, she told them that they are really serving God because she was restless all through the time she had me. She was just like very restless. She said, no, this girl cannot do this kind of thing. And according to her, when people came, because she, she has this kind of club like area people come they ask for girls according to her when people ask she doesn't like she she doesn't release me instead she tells them that no 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 i'm not part of them so she was protecting me instead of using me for her own gain and all of that all this oh god it's just god that did because a 15 year old girl was there and she was into the business <sighs> i just want to thank god for protecting me i just want to thank god praise the lord can you jam your heart together for jesus Praise the Lord. You need to understand this testimony and what God did. This girl has almost gone, but God intervened. And God answered the prayer of the church. I pray God will give us praying parents. And God will not allow our children to be for rituals. And every plan of the enemy against you and against your children will be frustrated. Jam your hands together for this great deliverance. The next testifier, please. The next testifier is Pastor Christian Idiozu. He's from Omoku in Ahoda. From 27 Omoku, 27 Omoku Road. Okay, residing at number 27 Omoku Road in Ahoda. Let's hear you, sir. Praise the Lord. I am Pastor Christian Idozo from the Central Church. For more than 10 years, I have had pain inside my bone and my back and the two weights paining me. People who massage have tried their best. There is no way. But recently, a few days ago, I was no longer able to even get up from the chair and walk. So when we came here if, uh, on the 26th, I, after the prayer of the man of God, I was healed. Before, I could not even walk again. I could not even sit down comfortably, but I'm now completely free. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, can I can walk now, I can run. Walk oh. now. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Papa is jogging. Put your hand together for Jesus. Put your hand together for Jesus. Yes. Our pastor has been suffering from lower lower back pain, chronic lower back pain of over 10 years duration. But just this night, God visited him and he is now healed. Brethren, praise the Lord. Worship God. The next testifier, please. The next testifier is Brother Believe Joseph from Umogo Town. We shall hear him. Praise the Lord. I have been sick for many years. This year is making it uh, 14 years. But the last year, when I was attending this church for my town in Umogo, I have uh, on the inside. 
Even when I will read, I cannot read very fine. But yesterday night when the father is praying, something moved out of my eye, and I have uh, seen clearly today. I thank God for all God has done for me. That, pr church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So can you read well now? Yeah. What is this? Global Crusade with the uh, Kumuye. What of this one? What is the color of this? That is a... Uh, color. As what is, okay, what is this? Is it your name? What yeah, is this? Yeah, yeah, believe uh, Joseph. Huh? Believe Joseph. What of this one? Ihubogo. Yeah, thank you. Now for Jesus. Our yeah. brother has been suffering Let's... from partial blindness of over 14 years duration. Just last night, the Lord touched him, and now he can see clearly. Brethren, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Partial blindness, gone. The next testifier, please. The, the next testifier is Sister Faith James, residing at uh, the waterboard Ahoda. Which let's hear him as she test let's hear her as he testified to the glory of God. Church, praise the Lord. I want to thank God for what God did for me. Since 2010 to 2012, I was having pains in my ribs. Sometimes the pain will come, it will go. I was thinking that it's something that's just ordinary. I don't know that cold have entered my body. I remember of reading Church of God. It's a church, reading Church of God. He's a pastor that invited me for the program. He was telling me that I should come for the program, that God is going to hear me. I want to thank God for what God has did for me. Sometimes when I'm coughing, I'll be coughing with food force. My parents, they gave me injection. So I will be in injection for almost one week now. I want to thank God for what God has did for me. I was hearing before the day of the program, I was hearing Jesus' voice. Jesus was speaking to me, saying to me that I'm going to be where. I'm going to be where. I was also hearing Jesus' voice talking to me. I want to thank God for restoring me the joy of my salvation yesterday. May his name is exalted in Jesus' name. I also received my, my healing on Thursday. Praise the Lord. Doctor. Yes. Our sister has been suffering from chronic coastal chondritis with lower respiratory tract infection. But just on Thursday night, the Lord visited her and healed her. Now she is free. Praise the Lord. Amen. Testifier, please. Uh, is Sister Harmony believer? Please let's hear her. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mother, please. I'm testifying for my daughter. My daughter, I born it to 12 beds. She don't talk, she don't hear. But today, as Pastor Kumi is short, she is speaking. My daughter, she say, Amen, Amen, Amen. So, Harmony, Harmony, can you talk? Say Amen. Mm -hmm. Say Amen. Mm -hmm. Say Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that the only clap you can give? Give the Lord a clap offering. 
she was born deaf and dumb, but now she can hear and pronounce amen, which she has not done in the past. Praise the Lord. Can you jam your hand together for Jesus? Did Is Sister Okiri Nachi excellent? Please let's hear her testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Okiri Nachi excellent. I'm here to testify about the goodness of God in my life. It started in April ending when I have a severe headache and eye pain. Like I can't look to bright lights. Every, like my head, this would be aching me, painful, very painful. And my eyes, when I look at light, this would be painful on me. I can't. I'll be having this problem. And I have an exam. So, you know, I have to write. So I was not able to write the exam based on my condition. So I was in that problem in May, June, and in during GCK, June. So God touched me. God perfected his healing in my life. So I wrote my neko. I see the headache, everything. I can stay in a noisy place. I won't, that headache, the thing has gone and gone forever. Praise the Lord. Wait. Our sister. Gone and gone forever. Amen. Our sister was suffering from photophobia migraine and some refractive errors. God has intervened. She is today delivered. Praise the Lord. They call it, it is gone. Everybody say gone. Go forever. Let's rise up and worship God. Everybody. Let's open our mouth and just give God the glory for what he did tonight. He visited us. He honored his name. He took away sorrow from our heart. He wiped away tears from our faces. He gladdened our heart. Let's give him the glory. Let's worship him. Let's exalt his name for the great move of the Spirit of God tonight. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Father, we return all the glory to you. Thank you for what you did tonight. Those you saved, those you restored back to the faith, those you healed, those you delivered. Lord, we pray that these miracles will be permanent. Yeah. We also thank you for the weather 
You honored your name today. Accept our worship and praise in Jesus' name. Thank you for our Father and the Lord. The vessel you used to bless your people, Lord, we pray, refill him. Replenish all that he has exhausted. Lord God, touch him. Lord God, perform miracles in his life. Lord, he will continue to be a source of encouragement and blessing to your church in Jesus' name. Amen. As we go, we pray that your glory and presence will go with us. And tomorrow morning, you will bring us here for a refreshing worship Sunday service. Lord God, we worship you for all the instruments you use, the choristers, the, the media team, everybody that has made this program a success tonight. Lord God, bless them as well in Jesus' name. We glorify your name for we know you've answered our prayers. For in Jesus' name, we pray. If you are happy God has answered your prayer, give me a loud amen. Good night and God bless you.
salvation is for you the music pain the you might have feel there is grace today of Satan, oh, yeah. This case has to be your case. Come on, everybody, take your place. Come and experience for me saving grace. No matter your color, no matter your race. Mama, papa, they come. Woke why in the yard. Mutu mata so Baba, yaya, GCK Gospel to every creature and brothers Jesus the Savior there is no another salvation from yonder is chains break us on the hill salvation is free you don't need to pay all of your shame you will roll away oh, oh, oh hey Jesus salvation is free you don't need to pay all of your shame you will 